This time around, the mansion is blown up and Quicksilver arrives just as the mansion starts to explode. So we have a super slow motion explosion as it rips through the house and destroys the entire mansion. We then shift into Quicksilver time and we see him go about saving everyone in the mansion, but as it is slowly exploding. It gave us an opportunity to see that sort of high speed photography version of what an explosion would look like in Quicksilver time. So that was actually the most complex sequence in the movie, both in terms of shooting it and complex in terms of the CG, the visual effects. That sequence was very, very carefully pre-visualized. Brian Smurs and Matt Sloan, who was the on-set supervisor for the second unit stuff, basically took that roadmap. This is Quicksilver on steroids, much bigger. I think we're about two, two and a half minutes sequence. In Days of Future Past, it was 32 seconds. You're inside the mansion and inside the library and out on the lawn and over at the swimming pool, and you're flinging people in all these different places, getting them clear of this big explosion, all within a one second or less time frame. It's quite elaborate. It took one and a half months to shoot. Evan Peters worked 17 days on this one sequence alone.